Welcome back to On The Topic with me, Amy V. How are you guys doing today? So, excuse the craziness in here with this hair going on. <laughs> um, so, this video is going to be um, a video on how I style this short haircut. So, recently um, I had gotten my hair cut into an A-line. Um, basically stacked in the back and kind of coming forward. So I've got really short layers on the top. Um, so um, this video is inspired and dedicated to one of my subscribers, um, Brenda. Thank you so much for um, commenting on and watching. I appreciate you so much. Um, and that you wanted to know how I curl this short haircut. So that's what this video is going to be about today is how I style or how I curl it. Um, and the dip, you know, what I do. So I'll probably wind up doing um, music throughout. Um, I'll kind of tell, show you and tell you how I do it and then I'll fast forward through it because it's just really just curling um, and then how to style it at the end or how I style it. So um, I told you guys before, I don't care about um, put together hair. Like it's really not my style. Um, I don't care about messy hair. Honestly, it's just better for me because you know, if it's windy outside and my hair is going all crazy, you know, it's like, oh, it looks normal. <laughs> so I'm not real, you know, it doesn't have to be polished. I definitely, I definitely love a volume in my hair um, because I, um, my hair can definitely lay flat. Um, the, um, one of the main things in how I curl is one, I love doing it on second or third day hair. This is second day hair. Um, because it already has product in it. You got texture spray, you got dry shampoo, you got a little bit of hairspray, um, and all of that. And so I, and the products I use are those that you can, they're like brushable. So you can basically redo your hair two or three times, um, even with the product. And it's not going to live, it's not going to leave like a goopy, sticky, nasty feeling. It's just going to feel, you know, normal. Like you can just brush it through like you didn't have anything in it. So basically that's what we're gonna do today. Um, just to kind of show, um, again, I use the dry bar um, triple sec um, spray for um, adding volume in there. Um, I didn't grab my dry shampoo, but the one I'm using today is an herbal essence one. Um, and then um, I also use the big and sexy um, spray and play. So basically it gives volume um, and it's just that spray and play, meaning you can spray it, but you can still play with your hair, tease it, comb through it, and it's not gonna, it doesn't leave it, you know, crunchy. Like it's just one of those that you can brush through and it feels like, you know, nothing, like basically, but it still holds the style, if that makes sense. Don't know how to explain that. Anyway, so um, real quick, I'm just gonna um, kind of show um, what I do use. So um, I just have one of the flat irons, uh, flat irons, I'm sorry, <laughs> curling wands. Um, I was <laughs> reeled in at the mall and um, at my local mall, one of the kiosks is in the middle. Um, you know, they were selling these and so um, I was basically finagled. <laughs> but I wouldn't recommend in the mall. I would not recommend getting it in the mall. Um, I mean, unless you get like a really, really good deal. Um, but I've seen them online and, and some of our amazing um, YouTubers here um, on this community have um, have partnered or collabed with some of the some amazing um, uh, brands that have these and they give an amazing discount code. So I definitely recommend um, finding one of those. I know Casey Holmes uh, had one at one time. I think Nicole Guerrero and there's a few other ones that I've seen and I'm like, oh, that's so awesome. So you get a really, really, really good discount from ordering it online. Anyway, I don't for rambling. Um, so yeah, so I just use a wand. Um, for this hair uh, length, um, I, I'm sorry, I threw away the big old box that it came in. So I don't know the exact measurements, um, but this is like the size of the one that I use uh, most of the time when I don't want a tight curl. Um, Brenda, this is actually the one I use. Um, that is my subscriber who um, recommend, uh, requested this. Um, I actually used this one in that video that you saw where I was doing the Milani lip scrub. Um, so it just kind of gives it that loose, like wave, um, not very tight curl. So this is the one um, I use. This is the size. I don't know if you can really see, but that's the size. Um, and then um, when I have longer hair, of course, I use like a bigger fat one just to kind of give it some, a little bit of something in it. 
And then I have this really tinier one um, that I use when I want a tighter curl. And I actually use this one to curl my hair in my video where I did the Maybelline brow um, demo and review. So just in case you were wondering. So I, again, I don't know the measurements, I'm sorry. But anyways, we're gonna jump right in. So basically, um, of course, you know, safety first, guys. Safety first, use your glove. I have all, I don't know if you can see all kinds of scars and battle wounds here that um, from uh, not wearing my glove. I'm, I have some more somewhere, but like my arms at one point were like all burned up. <laughs> so I think, you know, maybe one, of, maybe these companies need to come out with like a, you know, the glove that goes like up to your elbow. Because honestly, guys, for real. <laughs> so, anyways, you can use the glove. I've gotten kind of used to not using it just because actually sometimes I feel like it slips. You know, I kind of can't keep a hold of it, so I don't always use the glove. Sorry, but safety first, guys. Use glove. Use the glove. Um, recommend, <laughs> especially if you're new at using it. So, anyways, um, so what I'll normally do is I'll just kind of take my hair up like in that half point. And leave like all this um, out and I just you know grab a rubber band kind of just you know throw it up I'm not real precise with it I just want to you know kind of try to grab what I can um, and I'm sorry give me one moment let me grab my brush because that was one thing I forgot to grab <laughs> hold on one moment. Back. <laughs> got my brush so I just kind of brush through that a little bit and if I feel like I didn't section it off perfectly, I'll just kind of grab little pieces and I have like a little clippy clippy. Um, and I'll just kind of clip that up out of the way back here because I have so many layers that they can fall. So basically what I do um, is I'll just start grabbing pieces. Like again, again, I said I'm not precise. I'll just kind of, you know, grab one, brush through it, you know, grab the wand. And then I always curl with this length of hair I curl away from my face I um when I have longer hair um I would do like the one way other way one way other way but with this length guys honestly it just really doesn't matter um for me personally I, I just curl it all away um and so yeah so and then I just go throughout the whole, whole entire hair like that so just grabbing pieces back here is kind of hard to see now back here I have like really short pieces I don't know if you can see that what I do when I have this haircut, um, it's just so important because you don't want it to lay like flat back there. You want everything to kind of be seamless or look like it's got some type of something going on with it. So what I do for those pieces in the back that are really tiny like that, I'll kind of just pick them up even from the very, like the very, very bottom. Let's start from the very bottom, sorry, because I have like those really short, short, short pieces back here that I can't get to, right? So what I'll do is these top pieces first, I'll grab them and I will take my flat iron that's kind of skinny and I'll just grab it and I'll kind of just curl it in. Like I'll tuck it in under, I don't know if you can see that, just kind of tucking it in under and curling it and holding it there for a few seconds and then I'll let it go and it kind of keeps that curl. I don't know if you can tell, you can see. <laughs> so anyways, so that's what I do with these really tiny pieces back here I just kind of grab them and curl them inward just so that they have something because it's going to be covered kind of with those layers it's just going to be messy so so that's how I do that and then these pieces way underneath I flip them up so I kind of just flip them up so that they're see so they're just not laying flat so I just grab it and flip it up like that see now you can see yeah so all that's gonna be covered but it's not laying on my neck it's off of my neck and it's got something going on with it and then same here I'll just take these tiny pieces and ooh, on myself and sometimes they're hard to grab but anyways I'll just do that all the way through and I'll just like that and just kind of curl them in Hold them for a second. And what I love is that when you do it with second day or third day hair, like it's gonna hold because you've got, like I said, the product um, in there already. So it's, the curls just hold and it just styles so much easier. Like it really doesn't take me that long um, when I'm not like talking it through like this for you guys. But, but yeah, so I love it. And this piece right here, since it's kind of short, again, I'll grab the, the flat iron and I will curl it back. 
like that. So these little bitty pieces down here is, I will use the flat iron and just curl it back like that. And that's what I do. So yeah, so I just continue to go throughout the hair and then when it gets to these longer pieces, I'll go in with my little iron. And I don't hold it very long, just enough to get something on it um, and just let it go like that. And I don't curl all the way to the bottom pieces. So I kind of just leave them, leave them out um, to be straight. So that's how I do the very bottom portion. So, and if I see like right here, I see this one's still kind of, I'll grab the curl and I'll just kind of look it's kind of hard to see the back, but yeah, you just do the best you can getting those back there just to give them something. It's just just to lift them off the neck and they're not just laying flat underneath all the other hair. And then I'll just continue to move on. Um, I try to maintain my part so that I know where I want it. Normally my, my hair naturally parts right here anyway. Um, so yeah, so I'll just kind of grab some more, put it back up, and then just work all the way um, through like that. I'll just drop it and then start grabbing pieces and curling it through. So I'm going to fast forward this part just, um, and that way I can get through this. And then at the end, I'll show you, um, how I style it. All right. <laughs> all of them like curly fries <laughs> so anyways so at this point what I do is I um I uh, kind of let them cool while they're at this point and while it's separated while it's kind of in those curls and kind of separated this is when I like to go in with a dry shampoo this one is just by herbal essence um I don't even I I picked this up because I love the smell but I didn't realize it was a um, instant clean and color protection so if you color your hair I don't color my hair yet so um i uh so i didn't mean to pick that one up because it smells so good but it still works so so this is when i like to go in like i said when it's separated and i kind of go in and spray like in between to kind of um uh you know kind of get some of those oils like right there at the root at the base and kind of in between there just a little bit and it, this one does give a white cast but once you um, but once you shake it out and all that and work it in, it's, it's good to go. It doesn't leave that. Um, so basically, so at this point, so that's what I do. Um, I put the dry shampoo there and I kind of let it set for just a second. And while it's setting, while it's kind of absorbing before I shake it out, I'll go in with my, um, flat iron and these pieces that are like sticking out like that, that I didn't curl, I'll just take them and I'll kind of, um, uh, curl them back so that they're not like. Um, like sticking out so I'll just kind of do that to kind of lay them flat see like that so it's not like sticking out like I got electrocuted <laughs> so yeah so I just like like I said take those little pieces and just kind of just at the very ends just so that I can lay them down um, or you know they're not like sticking straight out like that so I'll just go through the little ones that I see um, and I'll just do I'll just do that um, while that dry shampoo is setting um, and just, just for the ones that I feel like are really like, you know, sticking straight up out of my hair, um, I'll do that with um, those. So, so yeah, so that's what I do um, while I'm waiting for the dry shampoo to settle. And then once the dry shampoo has settled, 
what I'll go in and do um, is I'll just I'll shake it out with my hands like I don't care um, you know my hands are clean anyway so I'll just kind of go in and I'll just work in that dry shampoo like that and just kind of you know just work it in so it's I don't have that white cast there and then I'll just begin to like brush out my curls with my hands and kind of shake them out like that and just do that until I get until I get it laying where the way I like it again like I said I don't care about polished hair it didn't have to be all perfect and um, I don't care you know like I said I don't care about that um, as long as I like how it looks I'm good to go and um, like I said this is really giving you those just those kind of like beachy waves I guess you could say like the you know very loose but just giving it something you know what I mean and so right here is where um, I definitely will go back in um, with my uh, flat iron and this is where I will go in and definitely grab those ends that are like sticking out like crazy and I'll kind of um, flip them back so that they're not you know um, straight up in the air and so I just go through go do I cannot speak <laughs> I'll go through and do that and just you know just mess with it until it gets to my liking um, and you know how I'm wanting to wear it or whatever um, and just do that like I said and yeah and that's what I do there. So after I, you know, after I go through and, and do all of that with it, after I, um, if I feel like there's some pieces that can use some curl, um, I'll go back through and just kind of like, just grab them and, and recurl them. And then just, you know, let them lay if I, if it's too straight or it didn't hold. Um, so that's what I'll do. Um, but then at this point, really, um, if I'm okay with the style, like I'm okay with the, with the curl that it has, um, I'll go in with my um, the uh, triple sex spray and I'll just kind of lift it and spray throughout this is where the volume really comes in guys like and I don't really spray this towards the root I mostly spray this throughout the hair like in the back and just kind of work working that in like that and you just see like how much the hair just kind of jumps up and like starts you know it gives you so much volume like I love the spray so much I wish I wish it wasn't so expensive but it's so worth it like you really don't have to use a whole lot honestly but yeah so that's how I get those curls and you know I just um, style it the way I like it grab pieces that I feel like need curling and kind of you know work with it like that um, and then, um, of course, at the very end, I'll go in with my, my hairspray, um, and then, you know, spray it and lock in the style. And that's pretty much how I get like the beachy waves or curly hair. Um, just depending on what I'm going for that day, I will, um, you know, de will determine on, you know, what size I use if I really want a tight curl and I don't really want these, um, you know the ends sticking out or whatever this is definitely like a beachy wave like a very very loose wave you just kind of you know like natural wave or i don't know however you want to call it beachy wave is what they usually say anyways but yeah so um i'll just do that and I'll, like i said i'll work with it and then i'll hairspray it and kind of lift it and just um just play with it as long as it has volume and it's bouncy and it's fun and and all of that good stuff i don't care I will wear it. I will wear it. I will wear it. Unless my husband's like, girl, don't be. Mm -mm. <laughs> but he never said that because he loves, he loves me. <laughs> so yeah, so I just, um, that's how I, that's how I get these, this particular way that was in that video. Um, and the Milani video is that's how I got that hairstyle. So just basically taking the fatter, um, wand and, um, you know, just adding some wave to it, adding some, um, curls and body and yeah. And then I'll just um, go in, like I said, and finish styling it and I'll hairspray it and lock it in here in a second. But yeah, that's how I get um, these curls or that's how I style it um, uh, this short with curls. Um, I still like to have my stack in the back. I still like for it to have the volume and all of that good stuff. So, 
So yeah, so if you like hair tutorials or liked this hair tutorial, definitely give thumbs up. Let me know if you'd like to see more. I'll be happy to do some more crazy hair tutorials. Um, and <laughs> yeah, so I hope you like this video. Brenda, I hope this helped you. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. Um, it means the world to me that you guys even comment or take an interest. You know, um, if you're here, you definitely love beauty related things. And, and that's definitely one of my passions for sure. I love you know, makeup and beauty, anything beauty related, health related, things like that. That's just my niche. It's like what I love. And I um, definitely love sharing um, the things that I'm doing with you guys. If you like it, um, I love sharing. That's what this is about, you know, to um, help people and just um, be able to share um, great tips and and products that we're using that we're loving. And then once again, I'm dropping things because that's what we do here on, on the topic. We drop stuff in our videos. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways guys i love you guys i hope you have an amazing amazing day um definitely leave me comments below on what videos you'd like to see i do have some uh, more upcoming videos um that i'll be sharing but if there's anything that you'd like um what you anything you think that should be here on, on the topic please let me know um it is on the topic guys it doesn't have to necessarily be beauty related um i'll be starting a fitness series very soon fitness fridays we'll be sharing tips there on how to stay healthy um, and get healthier because I have a sit down job and I sit down all day and it's very, very bad. It's very bad um, on the body. I've been doing a lot of studying on that just because I've been wondering why my health or why I feel the way I feel. And I know it is attributing to the amount of hours that I sit on my other job or on my job. And so, so yeah, so definitely tune into those because I'm going to try to share tips and tricks for those of you out there that definitely have those types of jobs because I know that's many people today. Um, that's just, it's a corporate world and a lot of people have sit down jobs. And so um, I want to just share chip, tips and tricks that I've, um, and things that I'm learning about that may help you. So anyway, enough rambling. Check me out on Instagram. It is um, on the topic with Amy V. Same thing all together, just mushed up on the topic with Amy V. I will always share there when I have new videos or new products that I'm trying and just positive and encouraging things. And what else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Oh, yeah. Um, I did also put on there that I would love to do, um, or if you want, if you'd like. <laughs> I mean, I'm a pretty boring person. There's really not much more to know about me. <laughs> but <laughs> we do have some new subbies since I did my first Q&A here on, on the topic. So if you are interested um, and there's... Um, Anything you'd like to know or a question you want to ask me, um, definitely I had posted something on Instagram, talk, um, say in a Q&A time maybe. Um, if you'd like to ask some questions, we can do a Q&A video. So definitely hop on over to my Instagram, leave some um, uh, questions on that um, uh, post um, that you'd like to know. And once we reach 10, at least 10 questions on there, um, we'll make a Q&A video. All right, guys. Or you can always, you can leave comments below on here too if you'd like. But I just thought it'd be easier to have them all in one place. Anyway, all right, guys. I will see you guys soon. I hope you have an amazing day. Talk to you later.